Hey, hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel again, guys. I hope you watched the previous video. Yes, I told you I was going to cook something, but this something started from the previous video, guys. So if you did not, please go back and check the previous video before you come back to this one, guys. So previously we made this. This is cooking oil from Sim Sim. I made it myself and I showed it step by step from the start till it came to this guy. So next here is the residue. This is actually the Sim Sim itself by the way. The residue, the leftover. But also this leftover is not wasted in my land. We also cook this as sauce guys. So that, that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. And of course I'm going to share it with you guys. And this particular sauce you can either mix it with um fish this is smoked fish fish or you can also um, cook it maybe with uh, what you some of you call omena or silver fish or I don't know whatever you guys call it but there are these tiny small fish that are very many <laughs> that's what I'm referring to guys so you can either cook with that or even this guys so for now I'm going to cook with this fish so straight away guys let me take you through so I'm going to just wash the fish and then leave it to boil so this is just water i'm washing so i'm going to cook using that pan wait, I'm going to cook it there. and then i'm going to add in some salt there we go and then i'm just going to put it here to boil a bit before i can show you what follows yeah I know the part you're very curious of is how I am going to mix this into that and of course I'm going to show you that so let's leave the fish to boil then we get back so here we are the fish is ready you can see how whitish the soup is that is how I know that it is ready so I'm going to carry it off I need this soup here. This is the very soup that you use for cooking it. Make sure that it does not fall. I'm going to switch this soup here. And then I'll add in plus some water. Because that soup cannot cook it alone. So I'm going to add in water just for cooking it. There we go. So I'm going to put it here and leave it to boil plus some salt. Remember I added salt in this soup here but it was really little. I'm just going to add in a little more and then I'll leave it to boil. There we go. So let's leave that soup to boil guys. Meanwhile this one will be cooling and I'm going to remove the bones off the meat and leave it as... <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Is it called a fillet? I don't know. Please let me know. It's too hot. I think I should give it some minutes to cool. So guys, you split them into pieces, just like I did here. You can have a look. Yeah. So we are going to leave this water to boil. And then I'm definitely going to show you what follows. Hmm? <laughs> Unfortunately, my puppy cannot even eat this. So I'm just going to throw it to waste. I was told bones from fish is not good for dogs. So I'm not going to risk. <laughs> you can see the bones. Guys, right here is the sim sim that remained, remember? Yeah, so I'm going to add it into this water because it's already boiling. But when adding it, you don't add them in big pieces like this. The way they are, you sp split them and make sure they are smaller in smaller pieces. And remember, the sim sim already had, 
oil. So some people fry it, but um, it's not very much advisable again to fry it because remember we just extracted oil and we left here some oil in this same sim. So it will it wouldn't make a very big difference to fry it. It's it's going to be like you've added back the oil that you had actually removed. So you wouldn't have done any job. Let's give it some minutes to boil. Time for the tomatoes. <laughs> then we're going to give it time again to boil more. Of course, I want to show you how it's turning. You can have a look. So you can see how it's holding themselves. Eh? That is how it's actually supposed to be. Yeah, so let's give it more time. Just some little more time, then I can add in the fish. Ooh, the aroma of the fish is really coming out. Now, this is what I was telling you. You can see the oil on top. So just imagine I had fried it again. You might not be seeing it because of the steam. But just imagine I had fried it again. How much oil would really be there? And that is the reason we don't fry it. Because it has oil already. So let's give it time a bit. And yes, I'm going to add in the fish, guys. You can see how the soup is now draining. Remember the fish already boiled and it's it's actually ready. That is the reason I choose to add it later because it's ready. Just to avoid smashing. There we go. Imagine that combination, guys. Oh my goodness, just have a look. The aroma is just something else. <laughs> okay, let me cover it not to escape. <laughs> and ooh, guys, here we are. You can have a look. So, you can see, I think the soup has drained and it's just at the perfect level. This thing is not supposed to have a lot of like, actually, should not even have soup, I should say. It's kind of a, I, should, I don't know how to say it, whether it's not like dry, totally dry, yeah, but it should not have soup. So there we go, guys. You can have a look. See the fish, the tomatoes, the, oh my goodness, have a look at that combination. And the aroma, of course. Oh my God, just put it down. And now this is best served with uh, either sweet potatoes or millet bread. And guess what, guys? This is actually our our dinner for us we call it supper <laughs> so this is what we are going to eat this evening and i'm going to serve it with millet bread so it's what i'm going to mingle here very fast guys let me just put the water to boil right here is boiling water i'm just going to switch it to the pan because i'm going to mingle from here guys i told you i'm going to serve this food with millet bread and right here is the flour so I'm going to cover it here to boil a bit. Again, you know when you transfer, it takes a bit some minutes there. So let's give it minutes to boil before I can mingle. And this is a technique of making it boil even faster. You just sprinkle some little flour on top and then leave it. It's going to boil real fast. Hey, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's actually boiling. Steam might make you notice. Let me just get up. This is how you check if the fly is enough. You dip in the mingling stick. But it feels little, so I'm going to add in just a bit. And then I'm going to leave it. Now this one, you need to leave it to boil hard before it starts mingling.
could be wondering why I'm pouring here water <laughs> to avoid sticking. Perfect, there we go. And then there is this part, guys. Oh my god, if it's cold, like if it has cooled down, you don't want to know. It can be something else. <laughs> Very nice. And then, of course, it's that time. <laughs> my best part, guys. It's time to eat. I'm going to eat. Ha! Ah, for any actually out there, they will know what this means. Mm? <laughs> I know most of you are now salivating, but bear with me. There's nothing I can do. Please visit me, and I cook for you this one. <laughs> And you know how I don't want to, to, I want it to be cooling, so I'm just going to be serving little by little like this, guys. So let me leave this one to cool. And of course, this one. Hey, Amen. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Of course. Mm. Please allow me to enjoy. I'm out. <laughs>